Hey our friends, happy Cinco de Mayo, and today we're celebrating by drawing what? A cactus. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. We're gonna draw a funny cactus mm -hmm. that's singing and maybe has maracas. And a sombrero. A sombrero, yeah, definitely. You need your drawing supplies, we're gonna use a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, let's start. Kay. Let's start by drawing our cactus, our funny cactus's face. Let's start by drawing, uh, we could draw a little nose, maybe, right here. A uh, little small U shape. And then let's draw a mustache. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out of the bottom like this and then comes out to the left and then the same curve that comes out to the right. Well, wow, that's a really big mustache. The bigger the better, right? Yep. <laughs> and then let's draw the top of the mustache. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out of the nose this way and then right at the end, we're gonna curve the other direction. So it's got this nice S curve. Then let's do the same thing and match on the other side. And then let's also draw the mouth. And we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw it really big because our cactus is singing. Yeah. <laughs> we could add also teeth. You could add all kinds of different things to your, uh, well, maybe that's the top of the mouth and then we could add teeth below it. And then I'm gonna draw a tongue inside and then color in this shape on the left. That way the tongue looks like it's up and then you got the teeth on top. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw them upside down U shapes so that it looks like our cactus is really singing super loud. He's, <laughs> he's feeling the music. <laughs> now let's draw the top of our cactus. We're gonna start here on the mustache. I'm gonna come up like this around and then back down, looks like a big upside down U. Now we can draw the body of the cactus. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna imagine the side of the head coming behind the mustache and out the bottom. And then I'm gonna draw it coming down about there. And then let's draw the other side too. We're gonna to imagine it going behind and I'm kind of drawing it curving to the side. Maybe he's really, he's kind of dancing too. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Now down here at the bottom, let's draw a little pot that our cactus is in. So I'm gonna draw a curve that connects the bottom. And we could also make it look a little more 3D. I'm gonna draw a little curve that comes up and connects on the left and also on the right. Let's color that in on each side. And then we can draw the outside edge of the pot. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out like this and then down. And then the same thing over here on this side to match out and then down. And then let's connect these two lines with a curve that matches the top of the pot. There you go, yeah. Now let's draw the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna draw a letter U that comes down, around, and then back up. <laughs> we did it. Okay, now let's draw our cactus's arms. I'm gonna draw one arm coming out like this, and then up to the left, and we can do the same thing down and up to the right. Now let's make the arms look thicker. I'm gonna draw another line that matches the first line we did. And then connect back into the body. And then the same thing over here on this side. We'll just draw it so that it matches. And then right at the end, let's draw a curve or upside down U to connect those two lines together. Now let's draw the maracas in his hands. We're gonna draw two lines that come out of each of the hands. Well, the arms or whatever you would call these, <laughs> the branches. And then let's draw an oval shape to 
finish the maracas. So I'm going to draw an oval at the end of each of those two lines. And we want those ovals to look the same on each side. And then let's also draw the bottom of the handle sticking out. So we're going to imagine this going through the hand, coming around, and then back in. Kind of look like corn dogs. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we're going to decorate those at the end when we're coloring so they'll look more like maracas. maracas. Yeah. Now let's draw our sombrero hat. Okay. Let's start here. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out of his head and to the left, and then also on the other side coming out to the right. Now at the very end, let's curve up on both sides. This is the side of the sombrero hat. And then at the very top, we're gonna curve around and connect to the other side. Let's also add designs to the hat. I'm turning my paper sideways. Sometimes that makes it easier. I'm going to draw another curve that matches the top one for the edge of the hat. And let's also draw the very top. I'm going to draw an upside down U right here and then back down. Let's add more design lines going around the hat. I'm going to draw a zigzag line across the edge all the way to the other side. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Cinco de Mayo cactus. Looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, this is going to be awesome when we're all finished. We are going to fast forward this part, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings too. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cactus, or singing cactus. Turned out awesome. I especially love it colored in with all the extra details. Yeah, we added the little spikes and also wiggle lines to make him look like he's moving. And the little wiggle line on the pot. Yeah. <laughs> also added notes for the song. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. Or color it any way you want. And also add a background. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing the singing cactus. And we also want to wish you a happy Cinco de Mayo. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.